treat, trick or treat, give me something good to eat. It's Halloween again tonight. Something sour, something sweet, just a whip and good to eat. It's Halloween again tonight. You be a goblin and you be a ghost, and we'll go out begging and see who gets the most. Trick or treat, trick or treat, give me something good to eat. It's Halloween again tonight. Got the microphone. Well, they didn't have these in the gay 90s. I can't read them. Isn't it fun to dress up? Oh, don't you just love, don't they look darling? Yeah, they do. Let's have a parade right off the bat, huh? Everybody who's dressed up in costume, Willie, how you feel? Awful. Why are you holding yourself so funny? My feet are killing me. Look at those shoes. Get a load of Willie's shoes. Aren't they... How did anybody ever walk in those round shoes? I don't shoes? know. Your toes point up in the air. <laughs> and then they got buttons besides? Yeah. Why couldn't you button the two middle buttons? They're missing. <laughs> Dear, isn't this fun? Don't you like Halloween? Oh, happy I do. Happy New Year! No, not Happy New Year. You know, in Cincinnati, they, they make quite a deal of Halloween. Do you know what they're doing this year? Uh-uh. Well, one of, the, one of the companies here is the Sure Good Company that makes all the good cookies and stuff. Mm -hmm. They gave thousands and millions of pretzels, and the sheriff here bought some of them or something. The policemen in the cruiser cars tonight, when the crowds are all parading, they, they have the whole car filled with pretzels to give to the kids. See, that's Isn't cute. that the cutest idea you ever heard of? Let's have a parade. Come on, let's have a parade. Everybody up Everybody in costume, costume, follow us. Come on, right here. Line up. Everybody in costume. That's cute, Willie. Yeah. Let's go. You ready? Ready. Come on, everybody. Oh, my land. Look what's coming here. a real close look all around now. You're a, you're a Spaniard, aren't you? Spanish or a gypsy? You're a gypsy. Uh-huh. Well, uh, you're, you're... Wasn't this a dirty trick? You're going to... <laughs> I, I mean, think it's I'm cute. into the husbands back here. in those days. <laughs> I don't imagine the husbands getting. minded too much. I what they was getting. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is cute with an old... That's a real old bonnet, isn't it? Uh-huh. Uh and... Oh, Robin Hood, Robin Hood Flower, one of the sponsors. Isn't that darling? Yeah. And... A painter, good. You're a oh, oh, da dee 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 dee. She looks wonderful. You're a what? Oh, oh, Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima, uh huh. Her face needs black. What's yours? I don't know. Just an old-fashioned lady. You're a gypsy, uh huh. Old-fashioned. Old-fashioned, Indian. Uh huh. They ain't cute. Let's see on the back. A little papoose, isn't that darling? And you're a, oh, she that's awful cute with a little cape and everything. The dress is about 100 years. Yeah, this parasol thing. I have is 50 you years sure old. And you can't open this parasol. <laughs> hmm? Never mind, really. Another Indian. Big heat papoose, huh? <laughs> and, uh, let, oh, she's a baby. She's a baby with her bottle. <laughs> and a clown. And a sunbonnet sun Sue. And a beautiful witch. Witches aren't that pretty. I tell you. Are you another witch? Two beautiful witches. 
and a little old-fashioned lady. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Huh? Isn't that a lovely Suki, costume? Suki, Suki. Did that, did that kimono come from uh, abroad? Well, you just well, fixed yourself up. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And a, an awfully fat clown. <laughs> and then Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What do you say? Shall we vote who wins the prize? How do you want to do it? Well, let's nominate somebody. Who do you nominate? I nominate Grandma and Grandpa. How many in favor of Grandma and Grandpa for the first prize? Say <laughs> I think that's darling. Real cute. I do too. All right, Grandma and Grandpa, you're going to get the first prize. I haven't decided what prize is to give who for what. Well, don't you think Are we should? Are those two women or two men? Or one man and a woman? You really a woman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Let me see. You need a shave, Grandma. Bye, golly. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll line up the prizes in a minute. Let's all sit down now because we've got so much to do. We'll never get half yeah. of it on the show today. Yeah. Let's do our number first, and then I won't have to worry anymore. Uh, the one? All right. Yeah, Willie and I decided that since we were dressed up in the gay 90s uh, mood today, we would do a little tune to fit the occasion. Let's do it on the stage like the big singers do. Huh? Up, up there, you mean? Yeah. Uh, is that all right with you? You kids will kind of face around and watch us if we do it on the stage. Huh? All right, come on, Willie, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Now, I don't know how we're going to get over it. This is so confusing. Would you mind holding the microphone? Play a big, long introduction, Mr. Farber, till we get there. Come on, Willie. All right, come on. Willie. Yeah. Do you remember when you once had a rhythm band? Gosh, wasn't the music grand. You were stranded out in St. Louis. Hey, I like to never got home. Well, remember, test your memory, dear Willie. Yeah. Do you recall when we were back on the radio? That wasn't so long ago. Deary, life was cheery in the good old days gone by. Do you remember? Say, listen, we, we both, both remember. remember. For, dearie, you're, you're much older than I. Ruthie, do you remember when you wore woolen underwear? The kind that stretched from here to there? Surely you have not yet forgotten all those good days of yore. Test today. your memory, my Ruthie. Do you recall the horse cars you rode so long ago? Hey, weren't those horses slow? Deary, things were dreary in, in those days so long, long, long gone by. by. Do you remember? No, I don't remember. Ha, ha. I thought that you were so much older than I. Willie, don't be silly. Willie, yeah. do you remember when we started on NBC? Yeah, that was a lucky day for me. Way back there, the 1st of October, in, in the year 51. 51. Test your memory, dear Willie. Testing. Do you recall that day when we started playing host? To all of the gals from coast to coast. Deary, life is cheery. Now the TV's here to stay. So let's remember. Yes, we remember to tune in Ruth and Will each day. Ruth and Will each day. Somebody say something, Ruthie. Get where? This is such a big production today that we just have to go all over the place. Nobody covers up for us at all. No, we got to do it. That? Well. We've got lots of cute prizes. We've got lots of things to do. Ben, we've got special guests today. And are they living dolls? Aren't they cute? Do you think you kids could leave your suckers long enough to come up here? <laughs> Say hello to the Kentucky Briar Hoppers. Extra new and the Kentucky Briar Hoppers. Oh, you kids are so cute. You're all like little... Uh, you have suckers and everything, huh? Uh -huh. Your nose all is swollen, me. isn't it? No, that's no. a... That's, huh? that's natural. No, it is <laughs> not. <laughs> you know, these are the kids we see on the Midwestern Hayride every week, and they do what I think is the finest tap dancing, the finest square tap dancing that's ever done anywhere. Yeah. None of us can duplicate it. We've tried and tried and tried. Nobody can do it except these chosen ones, and they came over to be our guests today just so we could have a real hoedown. You ready? Come on, Willie, start the clap All like right, you do now. All right, let's go. Yes, dance. Let's start go. Let's go. Left all the way around, halfway back, ladies, leave the general track. Home you are, everybody dance, everybody dance, we're going to stay in place. Let's go, 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 let's go,
Six over, Dixon Pan, Glenda Clover. On to the next, cup of four. Hundred over, Dixon Pan. I went under the arches, and I'm tired. Why he goes... Do you have to be born doing that, or do, can you actually learn oh, it's it? A it's, a, it's a step. It's a, it's a, you kids go out and, and entertain parties and things, don't yes, you? Yes, we do, Ray. And get other people to doing the, doing the stuff? Yes, yeah. we learn them. Have you ever wanna. found anybody who was real good at it besides oh, yourself? Yes. We know a lot of them yeah, around since nice. There may be hope for us yet on this thing, Willie. Really. <laughs> I would just give anything. You know, I'm a frustrated tap dancer anyway. I, was ju I just spread too soon before I got to tapping, you know? Yeah, well, if you'd have kept tapping, you wouldn't have spread. I know. I just didn't tap enough the right time. But I just think it's wonderful to do that. Don't, can it you is. do any of that step, Willie? Absolutely. Let me see. I don't know. It just doesn't look the same when you do It's all right. You'll be all right. Well, I'll throw a little cold water on your face. I need Gosh, it. Gosh, is it time for... We, we'll be back in a minute. Now, don't go away. Is it time for us to... Did you see the camera today? Isn't it cute? Isn't that the cutest thing? Show the folks the camera. Everything around here is the Halloweeny, so that it's not even funny. Even camera number one's got his pumpkin face on today. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Well, we're going to play some Halloween games. We're going to have, oh, we've got all kinds of cute things. Jugs of cider, barrels of apples. We've Hot got, dogs. We've got... I think 45 pounds of wieners to give away today. Won't that be fun? Oh, boy, we're going to So don't them. leave the, the, the set. We'll be right back in just one smidgen of a minute. Don't go away, Willie. I'm Something good to eat, it's Halloween again tonight. You'll be a goblin, and tonight. you'll be a ghost. And we'll, we'll go out begging to see who gets the most. Trick or treat, trick or treat, give, give me something good to eat. It's Halloween again tonight. It's Cincinnati, it's Halloween again tonight. Come on, the network, it's Halloween again tonight. Oh, it's Halloween, all right. It certainly is. Oh, this is the mo Let's play a game. Let's play a Halloween game. You all ready to play a game? Say, why didn't you fellas dress up today? Huh? Couldn't get him to come. You wouldn't... Is he wearing a mask, Willie, really, or is that his face? No, that's his regular face. Oh, is it? <laughs> where, where are you all from? Spring Valley. Where is everybody from today? Let's hear. Good. And who sponsors this quarter hour of our show that really comes into his own on Halloween? What makes 
a hot dog a real success at any Halloween party? I didn't hear that. I heard that. <laughs> and it's true. Yeah. And we'll talk a little more about that. Uh, Hal did something real cute today. Gene's better today. Everybody is so worried about Gene. He's back at work today and everything. Uh, so we're all, uh, we're all feeling wonderful. I thought we'd play a game. Get, let's get four volunteers. Four volunteers? Or do you want me the to call them? The Halloween party I ever went to. Nobody wants to do anything. They're having too much fun. They now just want I want set. four volunteers to come up here. Come on. One, two, three. I need one more. There come on. Come. All right. Good. <laughs> Are you, can you see pretty well through that? Because you have to be able to see through this. Let's line up right across here, gals. That's it. Now I need four milk bottles and a whole mess of, of uh, clothes pins. I thought since we were talking about bottles on this part of the show, you know, your A1 bottle, your nice tall. I wanted to use tall skinny bottles for this, but I was afraid to do it. I didn't think the A1 sauce bottle would work. <laughs> Willie, can't, you can't do it down here. Watch it, Willie. Watch it. I am. I heard something rip then. No, I... No. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, gal, here's the idea. You get each one gets five clothespins. Give each one five clothespins, Willie. And then, at the count of one, when we just say go, you tr you have you got any clothespin dropping music, Mr. Farber? All right. You have to hold the clothespin out. Girls, are you listening? You hold the clothespin out, waist high, no lower and see how many you can get in the milk bottle. Oh, this is the hardest thing to do. Did you ever do this, Willie? I played it once, and it's fun. Can we played it at a party candy head. Now, waist high, let me see. I think if you turn your clothespin over with the round end down, it's, I, I, I don't want you to cheat, but I think it's easier that way. <laughs> now then, when we say go, you, have, you take your time, and you have five to drop in. The one gets the most in gets the prize. Good. Ready? Go. Clump. <laughs> Come on, not no in leaning, yet. no leaning. These kids are a mess. Why, how am I? How are they going to get a prize if nobody can well, do it? She picked it up and put it in. I saw you. Are you sure you saw her? I saw her do it. You sure, Willie? Positive. I'll give you one more chance. Gather up your clothespins. Now try and see if somebody can get it. Looks like one will win. Here's one over here. Here. Who needs one? All right. Once again, clothespin dropping music, please. Whoop! She got one There's in! one. You might win. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. There's one. It's a tie. They're coming in neck and neck. They're coming in neck and neck. One has one in. There's one over there. Three ties. Oh, now somebody's got to get two in? Well, I can't keep this up all day. Now, no, before nobody got one in, and now two got them in. Three? Huh? Three did? Oh, heavens, give them all a prize and call the whole thing off. What do you like to give them? Let's give each one three pairs of lovely nylons, puffin' nylons. Wonderful. Huh? Yes, let's do. You girls need those, do you? Sure. All right, gather up your stuff now. You take that with... And, oh, let's give each one a bottle of A1 sauce. That's hmm? great. All we right. don't, we don't, uh, we don't say that you should try to drop clothespins in A1 bottles. You girls all have A1 at home? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Cross oh, your hearts. Hope Cross your hearts. Hope to die. Turn around three times. They must have it, Willie, or they wouldn't do that. All right, here's a bottle for each one, just in case the other one empties up, because with Halloween, you know, with the cute... Are you going to decorate your tables for Halloween and fix things up kind of cute? We're going to have a party tonight. You're going to have a party tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And you're going to have plenty, of course, of hot dogs, which go right along with Halloween. And then, of course, you're going to have the proper thing to put on the hot dogs, which is... Did any of you try my recipe I told you about, where you put the hot... You split the hot dogs and put the... A1 sauce in them, and then a, a, a sliver of cheese, and put them in the oven? Did you try it? Try oh, that's right. You don't try anything. I tell them. Why should I tell them? Well, I'm certainly going to do it tonight. Why, they're delicious that way. You know, for a little variety, and just in the oven for about, oh, doesn't take more than 25 minutes, really. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one thing. Everybody's dressing up, of course, you know, today and tonight. Uh, you going to dress up again tonight? You're going to a party? Are you going to a party tonight? That's nice. Not, you're just going to beg? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Trick or treat, see? <laughs> one thing you cannot disguise. That is the flavor that A1 sauce has, because it has a flavor that you've never tasted anything quite like it, have you? No, ma'am. Never have. You cannot disguise the flavor of A1 sauce, nor can you change it around in any way. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, that fell flat as a pancake. I was going to do something real tricky there. They were show, supposed to show a bottle disguised, but where it is, I don't know. There it is. 
Well, it's not disguised. I see A1 sauce as plain as day. Oh, it's just dressed. Well, show the top of it. I don't see the top of it. Oh, that's better. It's got a pumpkin head, isn't that? Oh, cute. Yeah. I'm isn't glad that they dog? showed that yeah. so we could see yeah, it. Yeah, it's nice of them to let us see the whole dog on the thing. They were hiding it, you know. But be sure that that little bottle is prevalent in your household tonight. Let's, uh, you kids sing, do you? <laughs> Could you come in on the part where it says, try the dish that makes the dish? Sure. You know, we use A1 in a lot of our other cooking dishes, besides just as a accompaniment to meat. Um, let's have a chorus today, Willie. All right. Huh? Six now, we, uh, we'll get right here, and then you come in on, like a, you know, like a Fred, wait a minute, we're not ready, Mr. Farber. Like a Fred Waring deal or something, you know, you come in behind us. All right, ready? Let's try again now. <laughs> And a plain beef stew lacks appeal for you. Try the dish that makes the dish. When the budget cries for those cheaper buys, don't, don't just, just sit around, around and wish. Add a flavor rare that's beyond compare. It will make, make every dish delicious. To put the simplest meal across, to give the plainest food a gloss. Dish of A1 sauce. It's the dash that makes the dish delicious. It's the dash that makes the dish A1. Real nice. You did it real well. Real well. Say, I haven't seen Heiner or Hare Russell honey around here today. I saw him, but uh, is he is he dressed up or anything? Yes, I think he, there he is. He's standing right there, ready to do whatever. Oh, he's... now I know that is not Russell Honey. Now, you could pick him out and out of a million people. That looks just like Russell Honey. Hasn't he changed a little? Uh, he has a lot. His ears are a little longer and his eyes are larger. His nose is a little rounder, but... Russell I... Honey, is that you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we caught him that time. I thought an owl said nothing but ooh-hoo, and he says ooh-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very rare owl that we have here in our Cincinnati Zoo. Um, I suppose there's some reason for him dressed up like an owl? Definitely. Mm -hmm. well, let's find out what it is, mm -hmm. huh? Russell, I mean, I think he looks better with an owl head, don't you? <laughs> I was going to say, he improves his appearance. Willie, bring out the loot wagon. Right. Let's give some prizes. Let's have our two first prize winners for costume come up and receive their prizes. We decided to give each one of them a beautiful little Crosley radio. Do you think that's all right? Beautiful little table model. On account of we figured you kids were so old and you've just got to get in bed early at night and... and Listen, and of course you should get television sets too, but I mean we'll give you the Crosley radios to start with. And you really were darling. So would you mind letting us see what you look like now? Aren't you hot as the dickens under there? Why don't you take your masks off? She took off her whole face. Oh, look how young and everything they are. Well, that's wonderful. What's your name? 
Backer, Pat Craybacker. Mrs. Backer and Mrs. Craybacker, both from, uh, my daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law and the mother-in-law, dressed up like Grandma and Grandpa. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Now then, Willie, let's give our beautiful Benrus watch for the magic number today. Hey, the loot wagon looks real cute, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Loaded real with everything, too. wieners and everything. Uh, the magic number today, now we have groaning. The magic number today is 602. No. But Leota May Rice of Aurora, Indiana had 607. Leota May, where are you? Oh, the big Indian squaw. Come on over here. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, now we have another beautiful watch today, another Benrus to give. This one goes way down south in Georgia. Oh, this is the contest. This is one of the letters from the hometown contest, a perfectly darling letter, which came from, what do you think? A boy. A little fellow? No, a young man. Oh. And he, he told us all, girls, would you be quiet? I'd just quit passing that watch around. <laughs> you better get it back. I saw one disappear the other day like that. She never did find it. The letter came from Mr. Robert J. Smith uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, wrote a darling letter, said that the Georgia peaches down there are awfully pretty, the kind that don't grow on the trees, you here, know. Here, here. And he's got a girl, and he said how much he likes the show and everything, then told us all about himself and his hometown. And he said if he could just win the watch, it could set him in good with his best girl. So he wins a Benrus watch today. Well, Mr. Robert J. Smith of Atlanta, Georgia. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I think, uh, I think, Willie, we ought to say that, that Saturday night, midnight, this Saturday night, is the wind-up of our little contest about your, you and your hometown. So get your letters in before the week is over by midnight Saturday night, and then you see what we can do. We'll, we'll award some more prizes. Those kids licking those suckers over there make me so hungry. I, we were so busy, we haven't had a thing I'll to eat. I'll get one. You can lick on it. I wish you would. They brought, brought their own suckers and not an extra one for us, Willie. Yeah. Just don't know how hungry we get on this show. We have a beautiful gift today. It's a great big bottle of a wonderful new perfume by Anjou called Apropos. And I think we're just going to, I thought I'd like to give this as a sort of a special gift today. To whom? As a kind of a runner-up in the contest. Oh? I thought you'd give it to me. <laughs> but you weren't in the it's, contest. I was in the parade for costumes. Oh, but you didn't do anything. Nobody voted for me, though, and that's the trouble. <laughs> I thought I'd give it to the lady who had the beautiful uh, Japanese costume. I thought she was awfully good, too. Didn't you all think so? Huh? Over here... Well, jealous, did you or not? <laughs> right. what, what's your name? Mrs. Arthur Tuffinson. Why don't you take your face off, Miss Tuffinson? Wouldn't it be yes, nice I if you could take you. your face off every once in a while? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mrs. Who? Mrs. Arthur Tuffinson. Boy, I thought you just looked darling, and I'd like for you to have this, and it's oh, very delicious. Thank you very Use much. it sparingly and make it last. Really don't you awesome. love good perfume, Willie? Yeah, I do. I think we'll have a lot more fun as things go on here today because, as I said, we have all the gifts. We have a bunch more games to play. We're going to play the one where you peel apples and stuff. Oh. But it's been real fun to celebrate Halloween with all you folks all over the country. Be sure to join with us again tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Happy Halloween.